Golly. Did you ever expect at that time you're going to have this sort of success? Um, I didn't myself. Other people did. Said that uh, I was going to make. I didn't know when, you know. And people say, uh, "You've made it overnight." Well, you know, like uh, they said, Matt Monroe made it overnight. He was, you know, he was going around for twelve years around dance halls, and I was, you know, I was in America for five years. I was on Broadway for two and a half years, and you know, and that's uh, that's, you know, I've got some credit behind me, and the other guys. For instance, um, Peter was in the village for 10 years. He left school when he was 15 or something, and, uh, well, he was at college, but he was in the village from the time he was 15 to the time he was 24, playing his banjo in, in the village, you know, in, in New York, which is like a folk singing thing. Mike went all over Texas playing, and Mickey, he was, he was a child star. He was a circus boy. Now, I understand that you've got your call-up papers for the American Army. Are you prepared to serve two years? Uh, yeah, if need be, but uh, I don't think they'll, uh, they'll want me in there because um, I have a couple of, you know, get-out clauses in my contract, but I, I don't usually want to talk about that. Well, what will happen to the monkeys if, in fact, you do serve this two years? Well, I won't, I won't have to serve the clauses in my contract, but I, I don't usually want to talk about that. Well, what will happen to the monkeys if, in fact, you do serve this two years? Well, I won't, I won't have to serve the two years. It's just a lot of bad publicity, that's all. You could put your finger on it. How would you sum up the success of the monkeys? Um, there's a lot of brains behind the monkeys, for one thing. And the thing that people are getting uptight about, getting mad about, is that uh, most groups spend five or six years, like the Beatles, trying to make... five shillings a week, whatever it was you earned then. I earned a little then all of a sudden somebody comes up and says, you've got something there, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some money behind you and I'm going to make you a star. Well, instead of doing that, they, they did it the easy way. They got four guys and got the money right away and did it with all in the space of, in America, it happened in two weeks, as soon as the show came on. Well, anyhow, let's hope that the success continues. Thank you very much, Davey. Thank you, we sold for another year. <laughs> A more than that, but um, being in the stables, it, uh, you know, you had to pay so much out for digs, which was kind of a drag. Now, your welcome has been fantastic, almost frightening, and yet you said that when you were here in December, there was very little interest shown. Why this sudden upsurge? Well, one thing, you know, which is the obvious thing, is the TV show came out and it clicked, fortunately. But, uh... I wouldn't say that I didn't have any welcome, you know, like I had, uh, I had my friend over here, Basil, the trainer, and my dad, and, you know, those are the people that count. The, you know, the fans count too. But, uh, you know, I have all my mates at home. I was busy the whole time I was home last time. How did you first team up with the Monkees? Um, well, I was working in a show called Pickwick with Harry Seacombe in Hollywood. And um, they... Uh, they saw me in it, and the t two writers, McGursky and uh, Larry Tucker, came round and they started to write a show. And uh, it was called The Monkeys, and they had me in mind. All we had to do was find three other cats. Guys. <laughs> Men, boys, I don't know who you want to call.